Imagine living in a house so lightweight it could be shipped like flat-packed furniture, yet so strong it could withstand earthquakes. Picture flying in planes that use far less fuel, making air travel cheaper and more accessible. Imagine disaster-proof buildings that save lives during hurricanes or earthquakes. This isn't science fiction anymore, it's science reality. On January 24th, 2025, researchers introduced a breakthrough that could change everything. Nano-architected materials. These materials are engineered to be lighter than foam, yet stronger than steel. They mimic nature's best designs, but are created with cutting-edge technology. And they might just revolutionize how we build, travel, and even live. Nano-architected materials represent the perfect marriage of nature's brilliance and human innovation. They're not just a lab experiment, they're the foundation of a future that's smarter, safer, and more sustainable. But how exactly did researchers achieve this groundbreaking feat? Let's peel back the layers and take a look at the science behind the magic. These materials are constructed from tiny building blocks, or repeating units, that are just a few hundred nanometers in size. To put this into perspective, more than 100 of these units patterned in a row would still be thinner than a single human hair. These microscopic structures, known as nano-lattices, serve as the backbone of the material. In this particular breakthrough, the building blocks are composed of carbon. The carbon atoms are meticulously arranged in 3D patterns to create an intricate lattice structure. This isn't just design for design's sake. The structure itself is what gives the material its extraordinary properties. Traditionally, lattice structures suffer from a common problem, sharp intersections and corners. These sharp features concentrate stress at specific points, leading to early failure or breakage. This limits the overall strength and durability of the material, no matter how strong its components are. To overcome this, the research team used machine learning to identify and optimize new lattice geometries. The algorithms simulated thousands of possible designs, searching for patterns that could evenly distribute stress and avoid weak points. The result? A new class of nano-lattices with smooth curves and optimized intersections that minimize stress concentrations. Once the optimal design was identified, the team used state-of-the-art 3D printing technology to create these structures. At the nanoscale, this involves building the material layer by layer with extreme precision. Each layer is carefully crafted to maintain uniformity and ensure the lattice's structural integrity. After manufacturing, the material underwent rigorous testing. Researchers applied pressure, stretched and bent the nano lattice to study its performance. The results were astonishing. This discovery is not just about one material, it's about pioneering a methodology. The combination of machine learning and nanoscale engineering has opened the door to custom design materials that can be tailored for specific applications. Whether it's aerospace, automotive or disaster resilience, this approach ensures materials are optimized for the challenges they face. And now that we've explored how they built it, let's take a closer look at what makes nano-architected materials so special. What are nano-architected materials? These materials are constructed at the atomic level, designed as ultra-fine lattices that redistribute stress and adapt to impacts. Think of the structure of a bird's bone, light yet incredibly strong. Now imagine engineers replicating that with materials like metals, ceramics or polymers. The result? Strength without the weight. Why does it matter? Let's talk about how this could impact everyday life. Houses that ship, like IKEA furniture. Imagine a house so light it can be transported in pieces to remote areas, saving on shipping costs and making housing more accessible. These materials could withstand natural disasters like hurricanes or earthquakes, providing safety without the bulk. Planes that save you money. Airplane seats, walls and components could be designed with these materials, cutting the weight of planes drastically. Less weight means less fuel, which could finally make those cheap tickets airlines promise a reality. Imagine taking international flights without draining your savings. 
Cars that redefine safety and efficiency. Picture a car that's both lighter and safer. These materials could revolutionize crash protection while improving fuel efficiency. Electric cars could travel further on a single charge, making them even more practical. And it's not just transportation and housing. These materials are poised to disrupt every industry. Let's look at a few more examples. Healthcare medical implants like hip replacements or prosthetics could be lighter, stronger and more durable. Patients would experience less discomfort and recovery times could be reduced. Furniture revolution. Think about furniture that's so lightweight you can move it around effortlessly, yet strong enough to last for generations. Moving day might never be the same again. Space exploration space agencies could design spacecraft that are both lighter and stronger. Lighter payloads mean cheaper launches, making space exploration more accessible and sustainable. This could even open the door for commercial space travel. Wearable tech fitness trackers, smart glasses or even exoskeletons for physical therapy could become lighter and more ergonomic, making them easier to wear and use daily. The possibilities don't stop there. Disaster-prone regions could use these materials for bridges, shelters and infrastructure that stand up to nature's fury. Military applications could include lightweight, impenetrable armor, offering better protection for soldiers. And let's not forget renewable energy. Solar panels and wind turbines could be redesigned with these materials, making clean energy more efficient and cost-effective. How does it all work? At the core of these materials is the lattice structure. Traditional materials like steel or concrete rely on their mass for strength, but nano-architected materials rely on their design. By engineering microscopic architectures, they can absorb impacts and bend without breaking, which traditional materials struggle to do. It's a principle borrowed from nature. Coral reefs, spider webs, and even the human skeleton demonstrate how lightweight structures can be incredibly resilient. Scientists have taken this idea and applied it to materials like metals and ceramics, achieving performance that was once thought impossible. What's next? The potential applications are endless, but there are challenges to overcome. While the production techniques are groundbreaking, scaling up manufacturing to make these materials cost-effective is a hurdle scientists are already working on. However, as the technology matures, it's likely that we'll see these materials integrated into our daily lives. Just imagine this. You're sitting in a plane flying across the Atlantic, knowing that the aircraft is lighter, safer and greener thanks to nano-architected materials. You arrive at a house designed to withstand earthquakes, shipped to its location in a single truckload. And you get to sleep on furniture so light, you can lift it with one hand, but strong enough to outlast you. Nano-architected materials aren't just a scientific breakthrough. They're a glimpse into a world where strength and weight are no longer trade-offs. They promise a future that's safer, cheaper and more sustainable. Some may call it crazy. We call it curiosity. Every breakthrough starts with someone questioning the unquestionable. What if we're wrong? What if we're right? Stay curious, stay bold, and never stop questioning, because that's how progress begins. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time on Misty Q Time.